Hi. This time I will do an Ethernet measurement with Expo 100 G Tester. In this video, I will show you how to run a simple Etherbert and RFC 2544 testing. For this demonstration, I use a FTB1 Pro with two units FTBX88260 multi service test module. This customizable unit is built with Open Transceiver System OTS, an innovative evolutionary design concept that enables users to match the module's interfaces with their specific testing needs. FTBX88260 offers two OTS slots, A and B, that can each house any of the options for SFP, QSFP+, QSFP28 or CFP4. With this quad port 100G kit configuration, you can run 4 by 100G bird test. It will minimize its testing time required, reducing OPEX and improving technician efficiency. In this test, I use module in slot 1, run as a traffic generator, and module in slot 2 as a smart loopback. QSFP28 connected with fiber patch cord loop. Now, we will do 100G Etherbird testing. Start Smart Loopback application in slot 2. Start Etherbird measurement in slot 1. Etherbird is used to verify link integrity during the installation and service turn up phase of an Ethernet link. It is based on sending a test pattern across an Ethernet based circuit and measuring the ratio of errored bits compared to the number of sent bits. We have the inject button that as soon as we click it, the errors or alarms will be injected. This menu is used for make sure the device under test and tester already straight and properly configured. On the result, first tab is summary. In there we get a statistic about alarm and error associated with the BERT test also related to service disruption and latency. When the test finish, a complete report can be saved including all the result from the test. Make sure the name of the file is correct, then save report. The report is being created after that and it's ready for user to export it and use it. Next we will do 100G RFC 2544 testing. Click the RFC 2544 icon to open the application. This may take a few seconds, so please wait until initialization window finish. This page displays three blocks. The first block is provide information about the physical interface, power level TX and RX. Expand the block by clicking at the top of the window we can review optical power per lane. We also could check frequency per lane. We have other tab that give you all information about transceiver, in this case the QSFP28. The next block is a MAC, an IP layer block that provide information about address in the source and destination. The last block is RFC 2544 configuration. You can select and modify the subtest and frame size that you want to measure. Click Start button to start the measurement. RFC 2544 has been the most widely used Ethernet service testing methodology. This series of subtests provides a methodology to measure throughput, back-to-back -back or burstability, frame loss, and latency. Throughput test allows you to obtain the maximum rate at which none of the offered frames are dropped by the device or system under test. Back-to-back -back test result provides the longest burst that the DUT will handle without loss of frame. Frame loss is the ratio of successful frame receptions to the attempted frame transmissions at the committed information rate. 
The test begins at the maximum rate for frame size, then repeated at reduced intervals until no frames are lost. The latency test is a measurement of time delay in a system. The test is repeated several times for each frame size being transmitted. When the tests finish, a complete report can be saved including all the results from the test. Click Save Report to generate report to PDF file format. We can easily pinch the touchscreen display to zoom and scroll the report. The report is nice and easy to understand. We back again to the measurement result to review. Click the alarm or error tab to see if any alarm or error occurred during the measurement. Click graph tab to see subtest result in nice graphical view. You can view all graph or select to view one by one subtest. In Traffic tab, you can see total TX and RX frame count. In Summary tab, you can change unit value as needed, such as changing megabit per second to gigabit per second for throughput and back-to-back. -back. Millisecond to microsecond for latency. Expo make Ethernet measurement easy and fun. Please feel free to contact us if you need any further information. Thanks for watching.